Hi, welcome GearWire fans. I'm Michael Palmer, National Sales Manager for Allen & Heath, and welcome to the 2010 AES Show in San Francisco. Um, Allen & Heath's pleased to announce a exciting new product that's been a lot of buzz on all the forums lately. It's our new GSR24M recording console. Essentially what we've done is we've taken this design and, and, and set it up to replace three major components in your recording studio. You have a high quality analog front end, you have a full surface controller, and we have an audio interface all built into one system. The system was initially, if you guys remember our ZR16 that we came out with, we've kind of taken that to the next level. So essentially what we've done is we've taken an all new mic preamp topology for the, for the console, We've mated it with a new discrete EQ path that's built into the desk. There's 15 op amps just in the mid-range section of this EQ alone. We have six aux ends, so now you have a little more flexibility with your routing and your aux ends. Fully motorized midi right faders uh, on the console. And then added our uh, patch bay into the bottom, which allows us, by enabling these four A, B, and C, D buttons, it allows me to change my source select on the channel input from DAW to my mic line inputs. I can also route the signal pre or post the analog EQ at the top, and I can write, enable, or defeat the MIDI fader on the bottom of the desk. Well, going over to the master section, you have four, four groups with mutes. We have a left, right, and a dedicated mono out. Full transport control with a, juddle, a, a shuttle and jog wheel, and eight uh, auto locate points built into the master. Additionally, on the top section, we have 12 rotary encoders for doing any type of MIDI control or adjusting or uh, adjusting your plug-ins, two dedicated MIDI faders, and there's actually two Class A discrete tube mic pre's built in that have both instrument DI and mic input with a drive control. One of the interesting things about these tube pre channels is they can actually be routed into the digital signal path. So you can actually take these, push this IP equals DAW button down, and it actually will bring back uh, channels from your DAW through the tube drive circuits and you can mix in with your main mix. The console will also support 5.1 surround mixing. There is an enabled button down below here that says 5.1. You engage that and across the groups in the left right mono output it allows you to run those to your dedicated control room outs. The GSR24M uh, is going to be available in two models, one with motorized faders, one with without motorized faders and they will be available in January. We'll be shipping them around the NAM show. Um, there's also two interfaces available for the back of the console. One is a multi-out card, which gives you 32 channels of ADAT I.O. and Firewire 400 with word clock I.O. And there's a DB25 connector version that gives you analog interface I.O. with additional uh, options to come in the future. So works with any major software on the market. And uh, we'll have, we have all the maps for all the major software, including Hue emulation for the console. So GSR24M. It's going to have an, an estimated street price for the fully motorized version of $89.99 and the non-motorized version for $79.99 US retail map. So thank you very much.